We've got you covered for all things happening in Curd and strong, brave, bold, trustworthy, and committed. These are all ways to describe members of the armed forces. And today I'm joined by Gabriel Sasada, the sales manager from Greg's Petroleum Services. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So we just wanted to thank you before we start off with anything for your service. I understand you did a couple of years uh, in the Marine Corps. Yes, So yes. thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Thank of you so course. much. Of course. So, you know, we want to highlight our veterans here in our community. But before we do all of that, I want to hear a little bit more about Greg's Petroleum. So what is it that you guys do here exactly? Yeah, you know, so we're um, a family-owned um, business. Uh, we started out in 1961. And um, so our, we have four locations throughout the San Joaquin Valley. We have one in Fresno, uh, Bakersfield, Delano, and Arvin. And uh, our goal is to provide the best service for our customers and the best products as well. So, um, you know, throughout the valley, we have um, companies that are in the oil rig business, uh, quick lube, the trucking, and the farming. So. Uh, yeah, we have our hands in a lot of a lot of good stuff. So. I was gonna say it's insane hearing you talk about it. It's insane to hear how involved in the community you guys really are. You know, from from farming to like obviously you know oil. It's it's yes. you're very involved. You're touching every part of that. So that's yes. amazing. Now, as I was saying, you served in the U.S. Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad also served. So oh, awesome. yes, we were all from him. <laughs> but uh, please tell me a little bit about you know your experience in in the service and why it's so important to highlight veterans here. Yeah, you. You know, I served from 2000 to 2004. Uh, I was in the infantry. Um, and uh, if you look at the years I was in, I was in during September 11th. So that was life changing for a lot of us. But, uh, you know, I was able to serve in operation during Freedom Philippines and got a lot out of that. And, uh, you know, the biggest question that I get asked is, would you do it again? Would you do your four years again? Absolutely, I would. And yeah. just serving the country is just a huge honor. And why is it so big to Greg's Petroleum? You know, it's big to us because we have a lot of customers that are, you know, veterans that own businesses and um, they're hiring veterans and, you know, just in our community, they're just super important to have and uh, to support and thank them uh, for what they, you know, Absolutely. serve. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do you think is the most important thing you learned during your time? You know, confidence. You know, I never wanted to be in a leadership role before I joined the Marine Corps. And from day one, they just instill that in you. And, uh, you know, and I still use it to this day, you know, a lot of the stuff that I picked up in the Marine Corps. So I would definitely say confidence. Absolutely. What is something you wish more people knew about, you know, life after the Marine Corps, civilian life, transitioning into yeah. that? Yeah. You know, when I got out, I was able to utilize the GI Bill. Uh, a lot of people think when you join the military, you can't go to college, you know, but the military has great programs. And so uh, I utilized the GI Bill, got my business management degree from Fresno State, and uh, you know, it's helped me throughout my career. It's amazing when you're able to see it actually put in action like that, you know, kind of a thank you from our country to you guys. Yes, to, be yes. able to, to be able to see that happen is amazing. And we are actually, we just got word, we have a winner of one of okay. our Saluting Our Veterans. Now, um, her name is Adelina Moran, and I just wanted to read to you what she sent to us. Okay. So she said, I served seven years Navy and 15 in the Army. I retired in 2014, and I continue to serve with the VFW Post 10859. I'm a social worker who chooses to communicate daily to Fresno because I have been given the privilege and opportunity to serve my fellow veterans at the California Veterans Home Fresno. So again, that's Adelina. There's her photo and she's continuing her service. You know, I mean, I think it's amazing. She yeah. says she served uh, not only in the Navy, but then 15 years in the yeah, Army that's too. Awesome. That's so awesome. our salute to her. She's doing amazing things here locally. Now, how can people submit their own photo to get involved in this contest? You know, um, they could go to uh, Greg's Petro and uh, submit their photo there and um, yeah and then we'll go through the process there and uh, select perfect and that's super easy and you guys can also go to kget.com slash veteran salute to submit your photos that way you can be entered into the drawing to be chosen next time we're super excited about this uh, contest that's going on so thank you so much for helping us thank put this you. on thank really you for appreciate it me. of course